Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today we have a video about why graffiti generators and why graffiti alphabets suck. So for those of you guys don't know, a graffiti alphabet is when a graffiti artist goes ahead and does the alphabet in graffiti. Simple enough, right? And a graffiti generator, everybody's familiar with this. You go online, you type in your name, pop goes your graffiti, and you now have a piece there. Or hand style. Now both of these suffer from the same flaw where both of these, graffiti generators and alphabets, don't consider flow with other letters when they're designed. Now sometimes graffiti alphabets do consider flow, but the issue with this is they don't actually use it in a practical way when it comes to making up a name. Because let's face it, nobody's name is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, the entire alphabet continues. And also it's important to mention that graffiti alphabets are pretty dope for advanced graffiti arts because we can look at it and we can, we can appreciate the work that went into it. But a lot of newer graffiti arts will see this as an opportunity to copy the alphabet. And they'll pick and choose letters around the alphabet and meld them together But that's exactly the issue is those letters were not put together to flow in the order you put them in So you end up with a lot of segmenting throughout the name and a name that doesn't flow at all So let's have a look at some graffiti generators, right? We got one right here and look I can already tell you this would be horrible just based off of what they gave me right here So let's type in grim and look at that exactly what I said is exactly what's happened here The G doesn't flow with the R look at the amount of negative space that they have between them You can tell that each one of these letters was designed as an individual letter and didn't consider the other letters next to it. As a result, you have a lot of segmenting that's going on between each and every single letter. So things like momentum flow and line uniformity and similarity are out of the question because those are proximity based. Yeah, you still have things like letter uniformity and similarity, but at that point, it's not going to be enough in order to maintain flow. Letter structure is also typically thrown out the window because people who make this sort of thing tend to not be too good at graffiti or tend to hire people that aren't too good at graffiti. So things like letter structures are pretty bad. Let's go over to a different style, let's see. And as you can see, no matter the style we choose, it's still nothing but atrocious graffiti that we're getting. And this is pretty much the case for every single graffiti generator you can possibly imagine. Even if you're getting more elaborate pieces, you're still gonna have all the same issues. Not to mention, if you use these things, everybody can see it from a mile away. Everybody who's been in the game, everybody who's been doing graffiti for longer than a year or two, can immediately tell you're using a graffiti generator. And it's not like you're learning anything from using it either, so there's really no point to even do it. So think of graffiti generator being the automatic version, and the manual version being a graffiti alphabet, where you have to look, pick, and draw for yourself, copy for yourself, the graffiti alphabet. For this moment, we collect some photos of different graffiti style letters. And each, and each of them is displayed with some new ideas. You have, you have time to see each pull a pic of gr cool graffitis. For more gallery related styles of graffiti, we also recommend you look at the pics of our blog. Don't forget to come again us since we what? That's not proper English, is it? I'm dyslexic, so I, I might have messed that up myself. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know what, guys? Don't, don't, oh my goodness. Don't bother. Don't bother with this. Don't even bother. Don't come to this website at all, whatsoever. Look at this. So some of these structures actually aren't bad, but like this, this A is pretty typical, right? You know, so not everything is abysmal. This E is also pretty typical. This T is typical as well, but these letters aren't going to really flow together in a cohesive name. Like this X doesn't even line up properly. How much can this graffiti artist actually know? And then we take a look at, I don't even have to open these up. What is this? What is this? That's like what I saw this girl named like Jessica do in my second grade when she was just started doing bubble letters and she was super badass and hyper ultra graffiti artist. Like, I ain't nobody trying to copy this. Oh God, I haven't even looked at this wild style. I haven't even looked at it. I'm gonna load the page, let's, no, no, come on. What is this? With the K with an arrow at the end? Ah, the I, oh my God. The I with the arrow as a tittle. I could not fathom more of a stereotypical I than that. Oh God, did you see this? They had the audacity to copyright this. Don't, you, what are you doing? You tell people, hey, you can take our shit, but also, Copyright because our shit's too dope. Our shit is too dope for you to be copying. It's like what? <laughs> no, nobody wants to use this. Guys, 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 this is exactly my point. This is precisely what it is I'm talking about. Don't do this stuff. Please take the time to actually study and learn the letters. You're gonna do this by starting off with a basic letter structure. This is basic print font we learned in elementary school. Here's a chart, right? This is, th this is your tag. This is your graffiti alphabet. Copy this. Don't think of it as doing graffiti. Think of it more as having neat, clean, crisp handwriting. Think of getting the letter structures to be perfect. Don't stylize at all. If you've been doing graffiti for less than four years, keep 
this as your reference. You have to learn the letter's structure before you can abstract it and begin to stylize it. Keep in mind some basic general tips. All lowercase letters are treated as uppercase letters. Your baseline, your cap height, you know, all that stuff. Lowercase letters, instead of reaching your X height, they want to go to the cap height now. Also, I do highly recommend learning things like calligraphy because that's going to highly highly improve your skill level and your understanding for the science behind graffiti as well as the letters in general. Graffiti has a lot of overlapping rules with print, font, and calligraphy. So once again, learning calligraphy can help you out a ton. Which this is a great time to say, today's video is sponsored by Skillshare.com, where you can learn pretty much anything you want to learn. And they have amazing calligraphy tutorials over there. I'm actually taking class in luck because it's been helping me a bunch of my graffiti. And I recommend you guys do the same. You can get two free months in the description down below. With absolutely no obligation, you can quit whenever you want. So take the time to foster your skills. Take the time to build them and learn them. It takes a long time. It takes patience, but give it that respect. Honestly, once again, the best way to get better is to keep it simple. Drop all the style and learn the basics. Anyway, guys, I think that's where we're going to leave this off. For those of you guys who are new here, we come out with weekly art videos, so be sure to become part of the family by subscribing. If you enjoyed the video, that like always helps. I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, peace.